What is happening, YouTubers? S4J back again, bringing you the coolest battles of yesterday and today, except that I'm on a different channel. That's right. This is Gangster Venus 200 sub special against Shofu. So, you know, he's hella excited to go against Shofu. And uh, let's see how he does. I hope he doesn't get all nervous or whatever. Uh, his camera quality can... Not his camera quality. His um, the ROM quality that I just used to record it is a little bit off. But at the same time, um, let's just get this going. He, Shofu's gonna start off with the Protect, right? And in my opinion, he should've, like, used that turn to switch out into something else. I mean, I know that maybe, um, Breloom is faster and could get up the Spore, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna get up for Spore on the Glide Score, especially since a lot of Glide Scores do carry the Protect to get up the Toxic Orb, especially if they're leading off. So it's like, dude, you should've used that time to switch into something right off the bat, right away. See, now on the Switch, he's able to get up a Substitute and see he has the Sub Protect with the, um, the Life Orb. I'm, I'm sorry, with the Toxic Orb. Now, if he was to have something like maybe Toxic Spikes or something like that, or maybe uh, Regular Spikes, or, you know, just a kind of a, a, a status condition that inflicts damage continuously, or if you're, you know, ha have, holding something like the Sticky Barb or something like that, you know, it would just be tedious to deal with something that's just stalling you out like that, PowerPoint stalling and or um, HP stalling little by little. He goes out into Ferrothorn, right? Show for I'm talking about. And... I don't know why, but why do you have Hidden Power Ice? I'm so sorry, Gangsta Bina, but dude, you sh that should be like Hidden Power Fire or something like that. Like, on the surprise kill to Feral or something like that. Like, you just do it. Well, it's not necessarily a surprise kill, Hidden Power Fire coming from a Rotom, but it's like a surprise hit. Boom! Um, Ferrothorn doesn't take that too well. And then on the switch out to save Ferrothorn for later on, you go for the Vault Switch to get Switch Priority. But, you know, in the case, he has both Hydro Pump and Hidden Power Ice, so I'm not necessarily understanding his, um, the understanding behind that move there, if that makes sense to you guys, but, um, you know, I'm not him, so, you know, he, maybe he has a, a more purpose, maybe he's, uh, have Hidden Power Fire, be I'm sorry, Hidden Power Ice because of Dragonite or something like that, that, you know, I don't, I don't know, but, uh, he just goes out into Polito, right, and, uh, Polito takes the Hidden Power Ice pretty well, obviously, He's just continuously spamming Hidden Power Ice, which makes me think that he's choice in some shape or form. So if he's choice and um, Ferrothorn came in, I know me, I would have actually switched out to probably save turns for later on. See, Stealth Rock or whatever. I have Tornadus, I have uh, Latios, things like that. I could bring in Latios and maybe try to fake that I have the Hidden Power Fire and then like switch out, whatever, go, you know, switch my moves up or then switch out, or whatever. Just play with Shofu's mind a little bit. And uh, this that's just how you play. But. You know, if your choice and you keep on doing Hidden Power Ice, it's not it's not gonna uh, be too productive. As you see, he's running circles around you. He's got the Stealth Rock. He's got the um, you know, the Toxic Spikes up. You know, you're, you're you're more messed up than it looks. Actually, I mean, he may you may be up on numbers at the moment, but he's got the upper hand, especially since you have Life Orb. He can like stall you out there in that department, since uh, Tentacle does have a high special defensive base. Uh, notably, his tentacle does have protect also, so maybe this is a kind of a, um, a new team that he has with the whole toxic stalling, whatever. But in my opinion, Tornadus should have actually had the leftovers as opposed to having uh, uh, Life Orb or whatever. I know that Life Orb does a little bit more damage, but, you know, Tornadus, does, Tornadus doesn't necessarily O-Hit KO a lot of threats as where Thunderous would do. But even so, Thunderous without a Nasty Plot doesn't O-Hit KO threats either, um, really. But it's like, you know, in my opinion, you should have, like, leftovers because the more you could, like, switch out your moves or whatever and you lose 10% if you're not able to protect properly. So now we're up against Gliscor and Rotom. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is actually the stally part of this match where um, Shofu just proceeds to stall this guy out. He's locked onto Hidden Power Ice, I would presume, because I don't see any leftovers recovery, right? So he's locked onto Hidden Power Ice. He's going to go for Protect, Sub, Protect, Sub, Protect, Sub. And in the case, me personally, I would just probably predict the Protect or whatever when he's going to use Protect while he's exposed instead of behind the Sub. Uh, to switch out into something else that would be potentially faster and then maybe go back out into Rotom if you want to use it so much or maybe go back out into something else that could probably set up something. That's just how you are able to get up one mo one up moves against, you know, opponents like that. But, um, he's just staying in. Uh, hidden Power Ice, Hidden Power Ice, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, you can get fully paralyzed, get hit a little bit, but he's just on um, powerful slowing out. You see with the, uh, the Ice Fan get a little bit of damage even though that something doesn't do all too much to Rotom Wash. But it doesn't matter because he has a sub, protect, sub, protect, sub, protect. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to um, fast forward this part a little bit. <sighs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, gang, Sabina, switch. Switch. Switch on to something else. He's exposed. Do it. Ah, oh, he's behind a sub now. Ah, oh, yes, switch. Ah, oh, ah, oh, 
boo. <laughs> I'm not even going in time with the video. I just sped it up so much. But, okay, finally he switched on to something else. But be mindful, if Polytoad is slower than uh, Gliscore, maybe it is Jolly because it's sub stall or whatever. It makes sense that he will have Jolly. You see, he is faster after all. So now he's just going to stall you out now with the Toxic is concerned. See, so you laid up two layers of Spike. I'm sorry. Yeah, two layers of Toxic Spike. So... You're in trouble if you don't like alternate your moves. So switch out again when he does protect, you know, because he can't, you know, alternate between sub and, and I'm sorry, he can't just keep doing substitute since he doesn't have enough high HP just to do uh, substitute and then like try, try to play with your mind just so that his moves don't seem so obvious and, um, you know, patternated like sub protect, sub protect. He has to do, he has to do sub protect in order to keep his glide score alive, which is what I'm trying to say. Whereas if he had a uh, higher amount of HP, he could like probably do sub, and then when when you predict a protect, he'll do sub again on the switch or something like that. But he's stalling you out. Oh no! Your Polito died, and now we're up here against Ladio, so just something you should have done before. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now I'm just playing with you, but seriously, you should have did that before. So now we're here with Ferrothorn, right? And he goes for the hidden power. What is that? Ice. It finishes it off, and that's what you should have done in the first place. Save your Polito for later on or something like that. Because Polito does have a high special defensive base. Could have probably took a, a, a Hurricane or something like that from the Tornadus. And then at the same time, you know. So, okay. He goes back into uh, Gliscor, predicting the switch, right? Goes back out into uh, his Hurricane Katrina. Which is, which is a good play on his part. Because now he switches right back out into his Rotom Wash. But in a sense, he shouldn't... I mean... He's, that's it, that's it, it's over, I think it's over, so he goes into a scarfed, um, well, at least he thought it was, I, I don't even know, but, uh, he goes for the U-turn, right, or maybe it is scarf, and maybe the tornado is scarf. I mean, I'm not seeing any leftovers of covering on the tornadoes, actually, so, maybe it is scarf. he goes out into Braylon, right, maybe Braylon has the mock punch, but, no, uh, Braylon was probably, I don't, I don't even know. So he goes out back out into Jirachi. Goes through the U-turn. I don't even understand. I don't understand why you U-turn to begin with. If he's just locked on Body Slam or something like that, he probably just predicted the um, the uh, maybe he predicted the Gliscor switch. In the case that if you did predict the Gliscor switch, you had your Rotom. But you know, you sh I, it's just the way that you played that around. You kind of messed it up. So since you messed it up, he's able to retain that, and now he has the Dragonite, and hopefully he doesn't have something like Lumberry for your, uh, oh, forget it, forget it, oh, it's game over, alright, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> definitely had a lot of fun doing this for the Gangsta Mina, Gangsta Mina, thank you so much for doing the ROM hack for me, I really appreciate it, bro, and, um, I'll see you guys later.